Hey everyone, welcome to Mather PE. Today we're gonna try to do some flashlight tag, Medusa style. Let's go. So this is our basic gym setup. We have all kinds of crash mats that are all set up accordion style, making a path all the way to the front of the gym here, where I've got my good buddy, Mr. Sorensen, who's going to explain how to play Medusa flashlight tag. Hey everyone, uh, as Mr. Mather pointed out, this is a game of Medusa flashlight tag. It's great to be played um, around Halloween or when your students are learning in a cross-curricular fashion, uh, like a social studies unit, about Greek myth uh, or any of the uh, other things surrounding uh, the story of Medusa. Um, this is a flashlight tag game, so it's very important that safety considerations and precautions be taken into account. Um, I would recommend before turning out the lights, making sure that you do a walkthrough with the students to identify any safety hazards, benches, equipment, or other things that can't be put away prior to uh, the game beginning. Okay, so the equipment you need in order to play this game effectively are obviously the crash mats. Um, we've got them set up in a, quite a big array. You can be creative with the different obstacles that you've set up. Um, but crash mats are pretty sufficient. If you've got big ones, great. If you've got these ones, also great. Uh, you also need a hula hoop, and a pool noodle, and a low light flashlight, something like a cell phone, rather than uh, a high res LED flashlight. So the setup for the game is pretty simple. Uh, you've got your pool noodle, and your hula hoop, and you put them on this end of the gym here. Then it's always good, I'm a history major, or I was in university at least, uh, it's always good to tell the story of Medusa. Uh, most of the students, if you've got students who are really keen on Greek myth, you can always find someone who can explain it to their classmates. Um, if you don't have anyone like that, you can Wikipedia Medusa and Perseus. So there's two roles in this game. There's Medusa, the villain, and Perseus and his sailors. So, Medusa's job is to eliminate all of the sailors. She does this by moving slowly with a hula hoop behind one leg at all times. So they can shuffle kind of like this. Um, she must use the low light flashlight to either identify a sailor by name or an identifier. Once that is done, the sailor must eliminate, must exit the playing area and go to the side wall. Now Perseus and the sailors are against Medusa and their job is to try to slay Medusa. Starting at this end, all of the sailors are going to try to sneak up. The lights are going to be dark, but they're going to have to be stealthy and go from mat to mat and try to hide. And as they get closer to the front, if they get spotted by Medusa here, bang. They're eliminated, they get called out, they've got to go to the side. But if I can hide and I can sneak up without getting caught and I can get all the way around and I see Medusa, Medusa doesn't know where I am. And I end up finding the weapon, which is the pool noodle. I can grab it and I still need to sneak up. And if I can go and cut the leg of Medusa before I get caught, Medusa is eliminated, sailors win the game. But if I go and grab the weapon and I'm sneaking up and Medusa catches me, it's I'm eliminated. Ready. I have to drop the pool noodle. I go off to the side. The pool noodle stays where it was last dropped and play continues with the rest of the players. So a couple of considerations when explaining the game are, um, first of all, one of the things that's very important is movement. Uh, so you really want to encourage Medusa not to puppy guard the weapon. Um, there's a couple rules you can institute uh, to make sure that happens. Rule number one could be that Medusa always has to be moving. Um, if that's problematic and Medusa is still just moving around the weapon, you can institute a time limit for Medusa to catch all of the sailors, uh, which usually works pretty well. Another consideration is that this is a game of stealth. So you really want to encourage students to move quickly and quietly, not like a herd of elephants. 
Um, these discussions are really important to have before the game kicks off. Otherwise, you could have some exploits take place. So we had a power outage the other day and we had no lights in the gym, but we were still stuck at school. So Mr. Sorensen mentioned this game and we gave it a shot and the grade sevens ate it up. So this is a great game. Kids will love it. Take care of your safety. If you like this idea, give it a try. Let us know how it works for you. If you like this video and you want to see more, give us subscribe and give us a like and we'll catch you next time, everybody. Take care. Thanks, guys.